series of exercises that we should cover for bending is sometimes you don't necessarily you're, you, or you don't always bend to adjacent strings. Sometimes you bend strings that are further apart. Um, if you look at the key of A, you have the C sharp note on the G G string, and then the A note on the E string. And those are actually on the, the G, the third string, and the first string. So you're skipping the second string altogether. So now you've got to kind of practice bending that way too. So you kind of set up some exercises that way. And what I'm doing is I'm just using the tonic note of the key I'm in. And I'm trying to see, you know, along that string how many accurate bends I can get. And it also allows me... Uh, go ahead and cover multiple fingerings. And even though it sound real pretty, it can lead to some real cool stuff, you know. You know, some real hip little uh, steel guitar bands, real pretty lines and stuff like that. So you would just simply basically practice, um, you know, pulling down the tonic note of the, of the bend. And then bending the G string, like in this case, that's a half step. And I might, you know, I can add my third finger here to the D note on the G string. Get a nice pretty bend that way. And now that note's actually attacking or, or become uh, attacking. That note's actually becoming uh, the note E. So. so I'm actually going up to the note E there. kind of a minor bend there at that point, or if I go up a whole step with the second finger, so you got, you know, you got possibilities of whole steps and half steps there, and then your first finger, strings like that is something that happens every once in a while. Um, and also look at the different fingerings here. You, you know, even though I'm using second finger and third finger, sometimes I can use third finger and fourth finger, right, or first and second. I don't really use that combination very often. I try and, you know, do the, the bends with these other fingers. If I can, you know, depending on the tune and what, what time allows for. So, if you look at these different kind of uh, bends that you're doing, the, the distances, if they can be, if you can do them with other fingers, a lot of times that makes for a great exercise too. Right? And so, if you have this bend here. Exercise, you're just trying to straighten the fingers, that's all it is. But you, you know, down the line when you're playing nice, you know, real pretty lines, you know, uh, you know, you want to be able to grab those uh, bends with any kind of a finger there.